straight off the bat, no. But in today's video, I will be going over it because inside of the Modern Warfare 3 beta, you have basically access to all, at least most, of the items that you get inside of the Vault Edition. And the reason I said not all of them is because some of them are currently locked away to Modern Warfare 2, and one of them isn't coming out until October 17th with the Haunting Event, which is a special blueprint for weapon. But you'll be able to use all these items inside of Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, well, the ones that are in Modern Warfare 2. Also, I can already see the comments that will probably end up on this video, and they are like, no way, there's no point in buying the game, it's just a $70 DLC, it's just a $100 DLC, and you are totally correct. But I caved in. I purchased the expensive version, and in today's video, <laughs> I want to go over every single item and tell you if in any, any kind of way, it's kind of worth it. So looking at the Vault Edition right now, you get Operator Packs, you get Blueprints, which are like Vault Blueprints, they're just basically like, they just give skins to your weapons. You get the Black Cell Modern Warfare 3 version, which is like the only reason I ended up actually buying the Vault Edition. So even though every single item I will be checking out is currently in game, one of these will be the actual Black Cell bundle that you can get, which in my opinion is kind of worth it because it comes with quite a lot of tier skips. Usually a Black Cell comes with only 20 five tier skips whereas with season one which is supposed to come out on december 6th you will be getting 55 tier skips so that's like completely different from the normal black cells and on top of this you'll also be getting 1100 cop points so the reason i ended up caving in to buy this version is obviously for the operator packs that we will be looking at in a while and all that stuff which is kind of cool in game but also to be able to get the black cell battle pass which i would have probably ended up buying so if you are planning to buy the black cell battle pass that's one of the only reasons that i'd say why not you not only get the full game but you basically pay the price of what a vault edition would be now also another cool thing is if you just buy the normal version of modern warfare 3 so that's just a 70 dollar one you can just pay the extra 30 dollars whenever so if you ever wanted to buy maybe the vault edition i'm pretty sure you can even wait until the game is officially out and then purchase it so you don't have to spend that 30 dollars additionally straight away now here is straight away just one of the operator skins that you get and this is marikov with a face mask and he's all shiny and also just like weird smoke is coming off of him this is a very interesting way that they have done operators inside of the game so the way this will work is if you have any of the operators that have like this special effect so the operators that they get it are price ghost and warden which is a brand new character she also has this and then marikov you obviously have the normal version but then also a special version which i think it's Inside of the beta itself we only have these special versions and the way it works is the more kills that you get the more that they will progress in this shiny glowy effect on them which is a nice addition so it's kind of like a kill streak almost so the more kills that you get the more and more your character will get consumed there's currently no third person inside the game but whenever i see players running around with these operator skins they look pretty sick and pretty cool and it's definitely something that like they are definitely way more expensive bundles they're like almost $20 or even more that I'd expect them to be just because they're already like glowing they're already crazy looking and it's really cool so I, I kind of dig it also like I do love ghost and price so they're definitely operators that I would end up using a lot no matter what and also the warden one looks kind of cool she's like ghost but also not ghost it's an interesting one we're gonna find out more about her inside of the actual campaign and then we also have Marikov which obviously is a character that I feel like I'll be using a lot as well but with the addition of Modern Warfare 2 stuff inside of the game it kind of gets a bit complicated also a really neat little thing that's actually currently inside of the beta and i'm pretty sure it's on purpose as you can see the character's back is turned to me so this is a way that we can check out the skin Ooh, i hope third person comes out into the actual full game but now let's take a look at the weapons so you'll be unlocking quite a few of them and they're actually kind of cool for the full game's release whenever you're going for camels on zombies on multiplayer or even later down the line in warzone these will be pretty nice to have the first one that you'll be getting is the s VA 545 and you will be getting the Crimson Fate and the Carbon Fate and the thing with these are when you first load into a game with them they have like text on them 
but when you get kills or at least i think it's just like one kill they essentially start progressing more and more to look like what they are inside of here where they have the same effects as the skins and like the silver diamond effect that a lot of people thought was diamond but unfortunately it is not we actually are just gonna have platinum or like a load of master camos but the crimson fade and the camera fade they're just based on the size of so one of them is red one of them is blue for smgs you'll be getting an amr9 and it is going to also just be the exact same name and the exact same skins on it uh, this one looks a bit more interesting when you load up into it so the red and the blue look way different whenever you load up into them the white what the blue one has like a white effect the red one has like more black on it which looks pretty cool and it's like a nice way of introducing reactive things inside of the game and kind of gets me excited for the potential of bundles inside of battle passes especially with some of the stuff that the modern warfare 3 multiplayer trailer revealed to us you're also going to get a shotgun skin which is the riveter and this one again same situation for some odd reason whenever i go over the blue version or at least the carbon fate it like really glows blue for a while inside of the beta and lastly you're going to be getting a skin for a sniper rifle called the longbow this is a pretty good sniper rifle and again same situation crimson fate and for some other oh, there we go uh crimson fate and the carbon fate and yeah that's kind of about it they look pretty cool inside of the game and nothing too crazy overall i don't think you should be basing your opinion about purchasing this game off of me per se but definitely having at least some kind of opinion to share with you guys i thought would benefit it is a huge dlc the game feels exactly the same like modern warfare 2 to me but i am a uh, call of duty shell and i will purchase anything because i'm stuck and i love zombies and they won me over with zombies so i was like hey let's buy this version just because i'm able to use pretty cool skins straight off the bat have them forever and i also get the battle pass straight off the bat with 55 tiers hell yeah so that's like one of the huge pluses and the operator skins as you can look at them on left price micro on right and it's a pretty cool combo you know they're, they're pretty cool characters and i don't think you should buy the vault edition yet I think you should wait waiting until later down the line in the call of duty life cycle purchase it because i'm pretty sure you can it's just going to cost you 30 dollars. so maybe instead of purchasing the battle pass if you do end up purchasing this game whenever the battle pass comes out just buy the vault edition if you can i don't know if that will be the case 100 comment down below if you know if you can purchase the modern warfare 2 vault edition still i already purchased it obviously before the game came out i do really like that edition that's something that i really do appreciate where you don't lose out on the opportunity to give activision more money that they wouldn't want that anymore after vanguard uh so it's a cool addition and yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully i kind of broke down stuff for you and made it clear with my opinions if you have any of your own opinions comment them down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out